Alright, so today is May 1st, May, April, May 1st, and uh, I'm sitting around here, it's uh, Saturday, and I don't like to go on the weekends because it's an absolute nightmare when you go to any of like the Goodwills or the Salvation Army, it's just, especially around me, it's just an absolute nightmare. So I like to list, so I like to do it once every week, maybe once every two weeks, but this is the stuff that I picked up this week. So let's take a look. Alright, so first up, we got a wall mounted crucifix. And again, religious things they sell. I got a ashtray from the Ritz Carlton, which is a high end place, <clears throat> a high end hotel. And yeah, these are some older plates. Obviously, I like to do the older plates, but uh, this one here, I haven't figured out who this is yet because it's got a touch mark on there that's impressed, and I can only make out and T, so I'm going to do a little bit of research there. Uh, I got some Tiffany eyeglasses. This is kind of cool. Um, this is a, let's see, I don't know if we're going to be able to focus on that. But it's a Harold Washington, who was a mayor of Chicago, and it's a commemorative paperweight. This one here is from 1836 by Masons. I believe this pattern is called Franklin. I don't know. Have to look more into that one, but it's in really good condition for 1836. You know, that's pre-Civil War. Uh... <clears throat> here we got a that's a large one of the uh, Buddhist or Hindu I'm not sure one of the two bells uh, this is real weird this is a popcorn bowl but if you see in there you have which I don't even know if they're gonna let me I might get flagged on eBay I don't know we'll see we will see but uh, it's very interesting. This one here is by Wedgwood. It's a, pad a pattern called Indian. So this one by Masons, I'm thinking I should get about between 60 and 40. And I think this one I'll get 40 bucks for. Um, here we got some older, uh, these are brass. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be drawer, drawer pulls or you could put them on a trunk. One of those two. We got another Hindu brass bell right there. A brass lechat figure. I'm pretty big on the figures. Right here is a Savarsky crystal. Those are kingfishers, which are pretty darn cool. Uh, I saw one of these sold for 150 bucks. So I'm pretty stoked about that one. Got some acrylic design things. I pick these up wherever I can. This one's signed. I gotta look more into that one. Um, here we got some new in the package. Uh, I got quite a few of them. All the same pattern. Just gotta go through, figure it out. Go on to replacements.com and figure out that pattern name. Um, this is Blue Flow, but I haven't <clears throat> figured out exactly who the maker is yet. And then, ooh, this one. I don't know if it's called. It's W A T T E A U is the pattern. It's a bowl, and this one is also by Masons. Masons Ironstone. Buy it whenever you see it. Um, let's see here. Whiskey glasses do pretty well. Uranium glass. And another really a name to really know is this one. If we can focus on it. This is Ansley. But it is sitting in, it's like a little espresso cup, but it's sitting in a sterling silver handle. Pretty cool. Um, cows, cows and pigs, they do well. Key rack, that is a brass, it looks like it's almost gold plated around the actual figure, around the Virgin Mary. Uh, Orthodox Greek, it appears. Um, and here we go, we got some jewelry. I'll pull this one over here. Oh, this one. 
So that is a 10 karat gold ring by uh, the South Dakota Black Hills Jewelry. Got it for five bucks. Got a little uh, synthetic opal in there. Oh, it's not focusing. It's got a little synthetic opal in there. And we add that one over here. And some sterling silver earrings with the rhino and the tiger and you know just some cool costume jewelry brooches always buy this is a tiny I mean that is I mean that could barely that would be like that could probably fit around my bicep with a little bit more room um, I don't even know how to measure that but that's my hand that's it's a small necklace. You must have had a small neck to be getting that one out, but it's in really good condition. None of the gold's missing. Um, brooches. I got a, a jade Buddha pendant. There you go. Jade Buddha pendant. Uh, it's a gold. I think this is gold filled butterfly. But the uh, class was replaced, as you can see there. Yeah. Um, let's see, that's a nice brooch, it's a holy bible keychain, let's look at this real quick, it's a holy bible keychain, and if you pull it out, I went through it, it's the whole bible, it is the whole bible in this tiny little keychain, which I couldn't pass up, I gotta get it, uh, sterling and tiger's eye ring, uh, this one's signed turquoise ring. Signed turquoise ring. Let's see, it's signed. Oh, what does that say? Looks like ZR or IZR. Uh, two more brooches. This is an Espo gold filled ring. It's a sweet little duck brooch with a bobblehead. And another jade heart pendant. So, get this all listed up there. Should be done. Like I said, this is easily well over a thousand bucks of things. You know, that's probably 150, 60, 40, 2, 150. I'm gonna have two on these guys. Um, Two on the elephants. You know, you got the silver stuff here. Each little piece is go for, you know, 15, 20 bucks. Still need to find this one. 150. Probably 30. Mm, maybe 30 on that one. It's a vintage Texas. You know how Texans are. They love their stuff. So, that and the gold jewelry. I got some. 14 karat gold opal earrings somewhere lost in here. I don't know where they went. I'm gonna find them on the floor when I vacuum up. Not there, not there. Now that's interesting because I really don't know. Oh, this one. This one. I know this one's pewter, but this one looks. This one could be. Very well could be pewter. But. You know, it just looks a, a little bit different. I had a uh, a sterling silver bowl that looked just like that. Oh, here's one of the 14 karat opal earrings. And there's some more rings in here. Like this one. And doo -doo 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 -doo. It's a cool little tassel brooch. It's pretty sweet. And then this one, if this one didn't have so much stuff wrong with it, it would have been really sweet. Come on. It's a snake. It's a gold-filled snake ring. That's pretty sweet. Anywho, let me get the stuff listed up here. And one quick pan through. Da -da 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 -da. And that's what I bought this week. Alright, catch you next week.